seven reasons why atmosphere is important for Christians. And one of them is that because you are a tree. Is that not so? Yes. And trees do not grow everywhere. So you will not grow everywhere. There are some places when I put you now, that's the end of your Christianity. You will fall. I mean, that's it. It's over. Forget it. It's not, it's not going on. It's finished. You are done for. You are done for. Do you understand when you say you are done for? It's like you are, it's over. It's over for you. Wow. Huh? It's, it's over. Forget it. Forget about the Christian thing. Forget about the ministry thing. You are done for. Everybody say you are done for. There's no preaching, there's nothing. It's finished, it's over. So a lot of people who are doing well, it's not that they are great. Oh. They just are in some environment. They're just staying there, being there. I think you should get the film and watch it. Being there. Now I'm going to look for it. It's called being there. The star in that film is, Pete, uh, I think it's Peter Sellers. I don't know if you know Peter Sellers. Pink Panther, that man. It's not a Pink Panther film, but it is him. He just stays there in a suit. He's just, just there. When he says one, they think it's a very great wise word. Then <laughs> it's fantastic. It's a, fun, a stupid film, but it's amazing. So a, a lot of people, you see, that is why you must not look down on somebody who is not also doing work. Because the environment that they, they grew up in is different. Yeah. There are some people from Europe, America, if I send them on a mission and I say go to Cameroon or go to Ghana or go to Nigeria or go somewhere in Africa, you'll see that they cannot, they cannot. Why? They are done for. Because they, they have grown up in an environment which has made them a certain way. So maybe there are trees like this. Or maybe it's very slim. Yeah. It's not, it, it, you see that it hasn't developed in a certain way. Yeah. So certain branches that it could have had, it don't have. Now, if you see some of the trees here in this area, you see that it's different from the trees we have in Accra. Yeah. Because the environment here is different. Yeah. It rains more over here. Just look out of the window. You see tall trees. It's like a rainforest. Yeah. You get it? So the environment here is completely different. So Trees seem to flourish, and you think, oh, this is a special tree. I mean, I really thank God for this tree's life. <laughs> what a blessing it has been to me. It's just the environment that it has been in. Yeah. I mean, some of you are virgins, but it's the environment. The environment has, has made you a virgin. Yeah, the atmosphere. But if you had been transplanted for just six months in another atmosphere, in another environment, you are done for. It's over. Just six months. Yeah. So when you are a Christian and you are about to go into another, a certain environment, you must really prepare. Otherwise, you, you, as soon as you hit the cold, you just die. Yeah. You see, that's why sometimes when you go to, into, into winter, you mean, say, hey, shh, because you know that it, you, it's something that kills. In just a short time, you find a lot of people, hey, shh, hey, tell me, it's cool. Hey, come on, come on. Because it kills. It actually kills. If you stay unprotected for a short while, you are over. When Hitler came into power, one of the experiments he was doing was to see how long people could stay in the cold without dying. So they put people in. You see that one hour is dead. One hour, 20 minutes, the person is dead. It's a certain type of temperature. You are stay there, you will die. It's over. You are done for. (laughs) 
You get it? Yeah. So, so, so somebody may be looking down on someone, but that person has even done better than you. Because in that environment or in that atmosphere, what the person has achieved and what you have achieved, nothing in the good atmosphere. Look at atmosphere like this and you are just grass. You are just a small, low-lying grass. Instead of becoming a big tree, in this atmosphere, look at the trees all around. You just were able to grow up to this. Yeah. So, the atmosphere in which you are is going to virtually determine everything. All right? So, because you are a tree. That's the first reason, because you are a tree. Second reason, and, and I've shown you a thousand scriptures about that. Number two is because you are a branch. You are called a branch of a tree. You are called a branch. I mean, the Bible calls you a branch tree. It also calls you a branch. You are called a tree, and you are also called a branch. Amen. Amen. I am the vine. You are the branches. I didn't call. I didn't write the Bible. Bible calls you a branch of a tree. And the branch of a tree is as doomed as the tree when it is in a bad atmosphere. It's over. You are done for. Some of you, when I see your new friends, I know it's, it's finished. It's over. You are done for. It's true. You see some people, you go and join MPP or you go and join MPC, uh, NDC, like you are doing politics now. As soon as I see a group that you are in, I know your future. You are done for. Yeah, it's true. I can tell. Bible calls you a branch. Bible calls you a tree. I didn't write the Bible. I'm reading it just like you. Number three, the Bible calls you a garden. First Corinthians chapter thirteen, uh, chapter three, verse nine. We are fellow workmen, joint promoters, laborers together, with and for God. You are God's garden. You are God's garden. You are God's garden and vineyard and field under cultivation. You are God's building. So God calls you a garden. First Corinthians chapter 3 verse 9. What does your Bible say? You are God's what? You are God's husbandry. It's, it's, we don't use that word husbandry. Do you know anybody who says husbandry? I'm going to my husbandry. There's nothing like that. There's nothing like that today. Okay? It's an old word. All right? It means garden or field or vineyard. Okay? We don't use husbandry. I'm going to my husbandry. I'll be back on Friday. There's nothing like that. I'm going to water my husbandry. No, 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 no. Okay? Do you have a husbandry? I mean, there's nothing like that. This is old English. Okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. You are God's garden. So if you are a garden, it's no surprise if there's, you, you, I, I come in the Hamatan environment and I see you become brown. Brown. It's no surprise. You should not be surprised if I find you brown, totally withered. I realize that you have been planted in the desert. One day, day, I went to a certain golf course in a certain country. country. And that country, the environment is harsh. So there is no grass on the golf course. The golf course is supposed to have grass. So when I, when I said, what are we going to do? And the man said, don't worry. When we got to the place where we are supposed to play, on the field where there was supposed to be grass, he opened his bag, 
and brought something out. It was a carpet. A special carpet with like grass prickles on. Small one. And he put it on plastic grass. Yeah. Yes. So everywhere you go, he puts it there. And then you play. Because the environment is such that the grass will not grow there. If you go to Burkina Faso, where it's desert, there is no grass on the golf course. It's red. It's a desert. And it's a golf course. Yeah. So that is the environment. And you don't expect trees there. Give me some water. I see something. Somebody. Ah, where's your gun? Where's your gun? What's, what's her name again? Come this way. What's her name again? This way. My darling here. What's her name? What's her name? She's the star for the actors, right? No, fire with this one. Is she dead yet? But you are being sure you don't fall down. Is she down? Is she fully down? But she's still sitting, so she cannot be around. Is she, is she fully? Fire until she's flat. Until she's flat. Ah. Ah, okay. All right. She's now down. You are God's garden. Well, what are you? Oh, you are a garden. I will not be surprised if you are moving in a certain environment and you just wither. I will not be surprised at all. Yeah. When I was coming to Legon campus, I had heard about this school. That is a place where you fall. Many times I've entered new environment, new atmospheres, and I knew what was there. And so I prepared for it. Yeah. Before I came to Legon, I went to the botanical gardens to fast and pray for my entrance into the school. Yeah. I used to take off my shirt and walk in the gardens. I finished, I finished sixth form, which is like SS, and walked through the gardens, through under the trees, on the roads there. Through the, I know every corner of the gardens. Yeah. I've li- virtually lived there. It's true. I come from home and I come there. Before, I've not, not yet entered university. And I was prepared because I had heard that there is a place called Lagos. When you go, you will fall. You will backslide. This will happen. This will happen. This will happen. So I prepared myself so that when I hit the environment, when the winter hits me, I pick my jacket. Yeah. When I, when I travel, I mean... The weather changes, you see, you, you, like it's how it's hot here. When you enter the plane, the temperature in the plane, I think sometimes they bring the temperature down to maybe 12 degrees, I think. Or I don't know what, 15 or 12 degrees in the plane sometimes, especially depending on the airline. And you see that it's freezing, especially if you are by the window, it's colder than in the middle of the plane. Yeah. And outside the temperature is minus 55 degrees. Minus 55 plus the wind, speed of 500 liters, maybe minus 100. Ah. And at first, sometimes when I travel, I realize that by the time I, I'm there, I said I'm almost dying out of the change in the when Because when I was coming from England right now, it was winter, winter, ice cold. When I arrived here, it's hot. <laughs> Atmosphere changes immediately. Everything changes. Yeah. So every change of atmosphere. What's your name again? Ah, Rebecca. Yeah. Hmm. If you sleep again, you, you have to open your mouth and we shall feel, we shall feel it. 
So listen, many of you, you've entered atmosphere. There are some people, they were, they were Christians in uh, J, J, uh, SS, what do you call it? Now that we have NBC, we are expecting them to do what they have promised, which is free basic education. Free basic education for all uh, people, everybody in Ghana from now. And free SHS from 2016. Yes, free free SHS from 2016. And then to increase the number of, uh, they're going to build 200 SHS schools. They're going to build 200. So we are expecting it now. And then also 10 teacher training colleges. They're going to build 10 teacher training colleges. And then we are going to have, yeah, all this. And then they are going to rehabilitate the Komasi jute uh, factory and the Aboso glass factory and the uh, Opong Manso steel and iron industry is also going to be uh, revived and brought on board. And they are going to increase the support, SADA support from 16,000 farmers to 40,000 farmers and increase the youth employment with a 10 million CD, whatever. So we are expecting all, are you not happy about all these things? wonderful things? That, uh, a better Ghana with single digit inflation and GDP growth rate of 8% and a strong currency which will not go further than the current 2 to 1. Yes. These are all things that we are all excited uh, uh, to going to have. 200 new SHS schools and so on. Back to, back to what we were talking about. What were we talking about? Huh? Huh? We're better Christians. I knew where I, I wanted to see whether you, you knew where I was. So listen, you... When I was coming from Christian, I was coming from secondary school, SS or whatever. I was not in SS. I was delivered from that thing. And then I entered a new environment where suddenly you are free. You can go and visit a boy at any time. You can visit a girl at any time. You can sleep in the same room, on the same bed. You don't have to go to lecture. Nobody knows whether you come or you don't come, whether you are early, whether you are late. Nobody cares. Nobody checks. Wow, no roll call. No housemaster. No senior housemistress. No lights out. No prefect. No, that you can't have a phone. You can't do this. No, 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 no. You can do everything. Suddenly, it's like, hey, liberty. It's a sudden change of atmosphere. Yeah. And people go wild. That's why they wait for the fresh, freshest and the first years. When they come, they start with jams and what, what beach parties. And welcome Deba. Welcome Debas and all sorts of things. When I, when I, when I visited my, 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 she was not my wife, my, I was going around on ministry visits ministry visits and I was on one ministry visit and I came to her room her room was P20 in Butter Hall so when I got there and I saw in her pigeon hole she had a little thing that you can put notes it was full full hey I said what are these I saw this what are these invitations she was being invited to jam here party this welcome freshers I said, what are these because i had not been invited to even a party <laughs> and you are you are a girl and you are also going for these welcome parties can't you see that you are like an antelope with lions trying to locate you and you are being invited to come to the forest the savannah to come and roam around openly for them to pounce on you and you are also going and when you come back you'll be crying i don't know what happened to me i fell asleep you fell asleep they made you sleep they made you sleep 
And what happened to you when you were sleeping? You, you never know. And you are also going. Because you hit a new environment of liberty. And you are shocked with the liberty. That's how life, every time you move from one, when you finish school to life, you hit a new atmosphere. You'll be shocked. When you travel abroad and you travel to it, you hit, bam! Sometimes you've been away from home and you come back home. You hit an environment where you used to do bad things. So there are people who do well in school spiritual. As soon as they go back home, bah, you just you enter back into the environment of that misbehavior. And then you revive it and it starts again. Up and down. To a, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot. Because you are God's garden. So you keep responding to the different environment and atmosphere that you fall into. That's how we are. Yeah, you keep changing. So, at a point, you now need to get your security and your protection, whether it's your coat, your winter coat. So as soon as I hit this environment, I put this one on, I will change when I go into this new environment. And sometimes you'll be surprised. Devil will play with you. Go, come, go, come, go. You go, you change. You come, you, change. you go like that, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Sometimes it can happen to you three times or four times before you realize that the environment has changed and it's making you change again. It's changing, it's making you change again. Because you see, it depends on what, sometimes you go home, your parents will not allow you to go to church. They will say, no, 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 it's too late. This, and that one rather, you see that you are backslide. Sometimes your parents op- op- can operate like a witch or a wizard. And actually induce fornication. Bringing uncles to come and say, this is your uncle, do whatever. No, that uncle wants to sleep with you. It's true. Or sometimes, oh, this is your cousin, whatever. That cousin is sleeping with you. Yes. Or sometimes we say, no, no, no. Don't have preference. They want you to rather be friends with this, this unbeliever. And sometimes some mothers want you to have things to do because that's all that they did through their life before they gave birth to you. You, you, you see, when your mother, you have no idea. Ask her to tell you, Mama, tell me about you. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me more. I want to know you. I want, do you have any picture of how you were when you were young? Mama, tell me some stories. I want to know. I want to know you. As you see her in her cloth with her big bottoms walking around her, you cannot imagine how she was. Hey! Hey! Jumping all over the place. Having sex with groups. Groups. Your mother, your mother, you'll be surprised. Just ask questions, ask questions. Tell her, Mama, I want to know. Tell me, Mama, what were you like, Mama? Before you met Daddy and you had me. And then you changed so much. And you became bitter widow or bitter whatever you are. But tell it bitter widow. By the time most of us grew up, we saw the bitterness of our mothers, not their sweetness. The sweet era has passed, and they have turned into the bitter mothers that you know, with negative things to say about your husband and all men, her husband and all men, except those who are restrained by the word of God. They don't say much, but most of them they will say, and they will call your you, they will call your father your father your father that man your father your father they, they, they don't call, they don't call him daddy they don't call him daddy or anything or sweetheart or my darling they call your father your father it's like not my anything your father it's not my anything but it's your father have you heard some of that before? Yes. So it, it has shielded you from having an idea of how your mother was. How your mother was. Your mother was acrobatic. Yes. Yes. Your mother was like a dancing queen. Your mother was charming, sensational. Sensational charmer. You have no idea. 
you think you are beautiful, she was 10 times more beautiful than you. Start to ask questions, ask for pictures. Mama, I want to see your picture. Mama, who are your boyfriends before? Before you met daddy, before you met daddy, who are your boyfriends? Mama, what happened? What happened? How was it like? Check your date of birth and the date of their marriage. Check your date of birth and the date of their marriage. Some of you, your, your father was going to marry somebody else until she met your mother at the last minute. And she charmed him with her sensational attitude of sweetness. She, she rapped him with her sweet voice and her hairstyle and she knew what a man wants when she has sex with your father she, he has not seen some before she said, what is happening to me what is happening to me talking about before we got into your mother you have no idea you have no idea so the environment the atmosphere of your life is making you you are becoming something so you better get your coat ready mm. By the time you are grown up, you would have done so many things. An atmosphere has changed in the house. Hmm. Nobody will know how you were. <laughs> you were sweet. It's marvelous. Are you listening? I have learned to prepare for the new atmosphere. Oh yeah. Atmosphere of life. As soon as you finish school, pa, you, it's like you have entered a new cold, bitter weather. Go to the grown-up churches and see the people sitting there. You see them like that. You see them sitting there like that. Very, when you say something, they just look at you. Like that. But they were, they were nicer than you. They were gentler, nicer. Your mother, as you see her, that she doesn't, when your father talks, she doesn't even turn her neck. The neck doesn't even move. She was nicer than you. So she entered into a bitter well, a cold weather. A cold weather changed nice plants. It has changed it. She was nicer than you. You, 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 are, you, are, even, you are even the ugly duckling compared to her. Even people were wondering that a beautiful woman like her could have given birth to you. <laughs> She was nicer than you, I'm telling you. But when she met a certain weather, it has changed her. It has changed her. She doesn't look so, she doesn't look so gentle. Speaking with a sharp tongue. Rebuking your father. Talking a certain way. Yeah, insulting. Hey. It's a cold weather that she met. Yeah. Go to the churches, you see. Each time you hit, you, you move from SH to university, pay, then you start. the weather has changed. You move from university, you hit real life, pay. See that the thing has changed. You travel to London, so I'm going to do um, masters. Pay. You see that the weather has changed. But when you go to London, you see that, oh, you are looking for accommodation. There's uh, somebody who you couldn't get a pay. When one room is 200 pounds. So when you look, you can patch with somebody. That person is actually the person you couldn't get. The person you know, the sister that you know, the friend that you know, the girl that you know, where she stays far at Manchester. So the only person that you know is this guy who has got a place. He's got a room there. He's got an extra room so you can patch. When you go, the extra room that he has got is a sitting room of a room. <laughs> the sitting room of a room. 
So I saw more the two rooms is one room and then the and so it's like because of one, two, one, two, your job is also near. So you are somehow patching there. Before you realize you've moved from the sitting room because there's no heating in the sitting room. Yeah, God, you can go to a place where they slot for heating. You know slot. slot. <laughs> you put slot. There are some houses in here. I don't know if they say you slot 50p for the heater to come on. 50. 50. 50. <laughs> if you don't have 50, <laughs> it will go off. And you see the weather. The weather, it comes into the house. Yeah. One time I went somewhere. To, I was going there to, for, some, for something. And when I got there, the heater was not working. I told the people, but I said, I cannot stay here. I left. I just, I just came back to Ghana. I said, I cannot stay here. You can't. You can't. If, when you wear clothes, even you can't. You will be like an Eskimo in the house. <laughs> You I stayed after two days. I, I was more than an Eskimo and I was, I was bathing every two hours with hot water. I bathed and I dressed like an Eskimo. I'm in the house. I cannot stay there. After, after I said, no, I'm going. You cannot stay. Oh, yeah. You are done for. Many years ago, anybody who goes to London backslides, all oh, backslide, oh, I knew all my friends backslide. So when I went to London, I went and looked for all of them, brought them to church. I went around the whole of London and brought them to the church that I found there. Yeah. That the pastor who ordained me, my pastor who ordained me to the ministry, his church, I got that anybody I knew from school I went as far as I know. I know everywhere in London. I know everywhere in London. I've, by following people, following, I, I'm a student. Nobody is paying. I'm following people for Christ. Yeah, I'll find the house. Every any place you mention in London, I know th- that area. I followed somebody there before. Visitation, following up. I bought Kenneth Hagin booklet. The small one I give to them. So here, here. Here, I give it to them. So I'm come for come to church. I'll go f- to them from their house and wait till Sunday morning. Let's go. Not my church. I wasn't co- collecting anything from them. And I wait for them. Say, Let's go. This is the way to the church. And we all go. Many people. Yeah, they have all fallen away. But when I came, I had the mind that everybody falls. So I will not fall here. So I came ready. Hey, even the readiness it was almost not easy for me. Hey, sh- Shabbat yeah. Your mother was nice. Take it from me. Your mother was nice. Your mother was nice. Mama, how sweet you were. She was nicer than you. Who? But when she hit the life atmosphere, then she became a different. Ma- and when you, by the time you grew up, the atmosphere has worked on her. It has worked on her for a long time. When you first started to talk to her, by the time you were 11, 13, 15, the atmosphere has worked on her. Of life, so you don't know. You don't even know how she was. Gen- she was charming. She was sensational before she hit the atmosphere. She's God. She was also God's garden, and she hit the at- well, icy atmosphere, like, whoosh, and she changed it down. That's why I see what I'm preaching. I said that you are going to do better than we did because we are preparing you for ice, icy atmospheres. Yeah. I see atmospheres and you, you will do well. I, I know for sure that you will, be, you will be better. You will do better. You will be happier. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Wow. Are, are you excited that you are a garden? Hmm. So I'm giving you seven reasons. I'm giving you three. Number four. Atmosphere it's important for you because you are called a fruit. Fruit. Amen. Amen. Turn with me to John 15. <laughs> See, iPad, iPad. Chipad, Chipad. Galaxy. Yes. Surface. surface. Come forth. 
Do you believe what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. How many? How many have already had certain new phones come into your life? Yeah. New phones. It's happening practically. John 15. I have chosen. You have not chosen me. The, the, this is the best we are reading for the prayer time. You have not chosen me. Those of you who thought you, you chose God. <laughs> You, have cho- you are choosing to serve God. God has chosen you. But I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruits, not gas. Hey. And that your fruit should remain. And whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Amen. Amen. So the fruits that you are supposed to bear are what? Is it not human beings? I don't know people. So we are also called fruits. Yeah. You are so, I'm somebody's fruit. As I am saying, I'm like, I'm a fruit. I'm a fruit. You are also a fruit. You are somebody's fruit. I'm somebody's fruit. Everybody is somebody's. And what you are going to bear is fruit. That's all. And fruit needs a certain atmosphere. First of all, to be born, for the fruit to come out. Even the, the, the weather tells you that it's time to bear fruit. Hey. Wow. Wow. Let me let me tell you something. You know, in 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 the how, how many continents do we have? Five, what are the continents? Africa. Africa. America. Asia. America. Europe. Europe America. North America. Australia. South America. Australia. Australia. Okay. Six. No, we have more than that. Which other one? Antarctica. 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 Seven. What about Arctic? It's not. Antarctica. Yeah. Do you know how? Do you know how? Do you know how Antarctica? How big it is? You know how big it is? It's just made of ice. Okay. But if it's as big as this square, every year they have winter, they have summer for just a few days. A few days. I'm talking about fruits. Don't forget. You always forget where I, when I ask you, you think I've forgotten. I'm also trying to see whether you can remember. And in the winter time, which is almost the, the whole year, when the summer goes for just a few days, the ice, the Antarctic, it doubles. The sea freezes. The sea becomes ice. <laughs> the deep blue sea becomes ice. And the whole thing expands. Yeah. Are you there? And few animals, that's why no trees, but few animals, few, see, that's why I said that there are some places that if you are a Christian and you are there, you are a penguin Christian. Penguin Christian. Only penguin Christian and polar bear Christians are able to stay in certain places. So if you know you are not a penguin, don't go there. Do not go there if you know you are not a spiritual penguin or a spiritual polar bear. You have no business in certain environment. If you are going to be a politician and you are a young, beautiful girl, every, all of them want to sleep with you. Politics goes with sex and deception. And hypocrisy. So if you, if you are not a penguin, spiritually able to withstand winter and withering icy conditions, then it is important, brother. Could it be me? I used to arrest. Stand up if you... He was diving, isn't it? He was diving. Fire again. Okay. Now, if you know, if you know 
you are not a spiritual penguin or a spiritual polar bear. You have no business in certain places. I don't expect to see you there. Yeah. It's true. You you become you be you 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 you'll be destroyed. You are down for. Now, amazingly, amazingly, you get it. Exactly at the moment when in time the weather changes. All right. The penguins come from the sea. They come from the sea. Come to the land. All right. The, polar, the, the, the seals also come. The penguins come at a particular time when the weather changes. <laughs> they come. Everybody finds a mate. Yeah. They, they, they find it. That's why, that's why some of these finding of partners and so on, you should know that it's so natural that you have to learn how to control it. Because the animals don't control it. So if you can't control, as a sister, you can't control the finding of a mate or brother, you can't control it. You are just a penguin. Do you understand? <laughs> just a penguin. Now, listen. Oh, listen. When they find a lover, the penguins, they stay together for life. Unlike most animals. After mating, the wife, okay, will give birth to the egg and transfer the egg to the husband. Yeah. Transfer the egg. The the temperature is minus 20. And they are in it. And they are okay. And just at that short window, when the weather changes, the, the atmosphere changes, no, the fruit comes. Then they transfer the egg to the man, to the legs, and the man, the, the brother holds it, holds the egg, and the wife goes to the sea. All of them go to the as if they are being directed. They leave the husbands there, and the husbands stay for the whole winter. They stand there. They stand there with the egg, and that the winter now descends, and now the freezing goes wilder. Eh? And then the wives go back to the sea and they swim and they eat and they do whatever for the next whatever and come back at the next <laughs> season. The season of fruits. It's fantastic. Yeah. And you, yeah, it's, it's amazing. You should see it. And you see that it is exactly at a particular season, even the egg, when they are transferring the egg, the egg should not touch the ice. When it touches the ice, it just freeze. <laughs> so it's like there's just a small atmosphere that which, within which you can bear the fruits. As soon as the atmosphere changes a bit, there's all this egg laying and whatever is finished. It's time to swim. It's time to just stand there like that. They stand. And they experience the winter, the deepest. Already it's cold. The summer is minus whatever. Before the winter is going further down, minus 100. <laughs> it's dark and cold. Are you listening? Yes. What I'm saying is that you are called fruits. And we are called fruit-bearing trees. But we are also called fruits. You are somebody's fruit. And at a particular moment, you can bear fruit. Just at a particular moment. I am one of the fruits of Papa Hagen. My real father, my real father is Papa Hagen. My father in the ministry. Real, real, real. The one who over me in a certain way is Papa Hagen. Really, really. <laughs> and I encountered him when, I, when he was 63 years old. Yeah. And that fruit that he bore in me, it came from encountering me at a particular moment of my life. Tender, 16, 17 years old. 
<laughs> he, he ministered to me when I was a teenager. And, and I loved him. I, I immediately fell in love with him. I immediately fell in love with him. <laughs> Recently, I was listening. Well, sometimes you, you, you see me in a house. The house is dark and only his voice. And I'm walking in a frame. One time I was praying and I was listening to at, at a point, I said, my, my father, this is my real father. This is my real father, I tell you. The power and the anointing was so much in the room. Hey. Yeah. I'm telling you. And you see, there is only a window that within which you can bear fruit. When the window passes, it's over. You can't even bear the fruit. It won't even come. Fruit is very, very window related. That's why when people want to bear fruit, so I'll work for God later. I'll, I'll do this I'll, uh, this time later. I'll have, it, there is just a short window. It's, it's too small to bear fruit. And you, the fruit itself is just delicate. It can survive in a certain environment and it, after that it cannot stay. The reason why there are no lions here the reason why they are not like because they are human beings. There's no environment here for lions. There's no environment here for and if you take it from me, there were wild animals here. There were wild animals. There were leopards. There were leopards. There were animals. And once human beings come, they kill. Because since we came here, we have killed snakes that can only be found in the zoo. They are found here, around us here. Should only be found in the zoo. But as we have come here, we are killing them. Um, but we've, we saw them when we started digging the foundation. We saw them brown one. See, this one is going here. This one, big, big snakes. They have lived here peacefully in an atmosphere of tranquility. You see, when the book of Nisa says, Let thy, so that thy tranquility be extended, their tranquility was no more extended here. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you listening to me? Wow. You are, you, are, you are a fruit. Somebody will bear you at a particular... And you too, you will bear fruit at a particular moment of your life. Those who are planning, I'll bear fruit in the future. I'm planning. I'll be this, I'll be that. I will become... After this, after this, after... That's why, look, anybody wants to serve God, eh? it's hard to serve God when you are young, simple. And either serve him all out or forget it. You are calculating with God. God is not a calculator. You cannot calculate with God. God is somebody who you either give yourself to or forget it. God is not something small. What is, what is MPP? What is NDC? That's why I don't commit myself to any of these things. I should be blindly loyal to people who are full of all kinds of things. Why can I cannot be possible. It cannot be possible. I have no basis to do something like that. The person I'm serving is far higher, far greater than these, than these people. Are you listening to me? Yeah. So my friends, you know, I want you to really take fruit bearing. Since you are a fruit and you will bear, you see fruit, since you are a fruit and you will bear fruit, since you are a fruit and you will bear fruit, you must remember that it's a window. Sometimes you see some ladies, you know, so, so I'll marry later, later, later. I'll marry later. So, somebody wants to marry, so do you want to marry, so <laughs> later. You know? Huh? No, no, I'm not thinking about that now. Oh, no, 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 no. As a boy, I don't want to. Yes, it's true, but girls like boys. But you must also think about it at a point. And think about it in time. In time. And brothers too, the same. Yeah. It's to think about it. It's, a, it's, it's something you have to get at a point. But it's always it's window related. Can you imagine? I say, I'm now going to, I'm going to start a church. I've come from America. I'm going to start a church. Huh? Can you imagine it? I am now going to start a church. I've come from America. I've got everything that I need now. 
and my classmates and my friends, most of them don't have everything that they want. Most of them don't have everything that they want. You cannot easily get it. (laughs) So you want to marry? You should be as zealous for wanting to serve God. Forget about the marriage part and serve the Lord. Brothers, just be more spiritual and, and, and do follow things properly. You, you, you will not desire, you will not, you will choose. You will choose. At a point you say, any money, many more, only can you join my store. Any place that you go, any money, money more. Anointing. Sisters, be there. The strategy of being there, being known that you are there. Just be there. You will not have to spend much on hair. No. Just be yourself. Be nice. Make up eyes, doing things with uh, with the eyes, changing your eyes. By the time you you, if you don't take care, you'll be blind. (laughs) Doing things with your eyes. Doing things with your hair. So many things. No, 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 no. Don't, don't Don't do that to attract any boy. It's not good. It's not necessary. Just be yourself. How you are in the room. How you are in the room. Hmm? Be like that. Those of you who tie your hair like Captain Haddock. So that you can impress us during the day. We want you to know that we have seen it all. And we are no more impressed. Are you going to bear fruit? You have a short window. You have a small window. Take it from me. You have a small window. If the Holy Spirit doesn't help you, you will never bear fruit. Take it from me. You have a small window of your life with which we can bear fruit for God. It's very small. As soon as you cross a certain distance, you can't bear fruit again. I'm telling you. you maybe some gas, some, I mean some liquids, something. Like fruits, no. Some pellets. But fruits, it's over. It's what I'm saying some way. You want, to have, you, want, you want to have a church. It, it comes from, from a whole life. The whole life is used for that. You see, like how you are, you are listening to me. What, what, what some people will do from what I'm saying, when I finish, they'll make a song out of it. That's all. But God is more than a song. But somebody will listen to what I'm saying and say, here I am. I am, I am giving my life for Jesus Christ. I'm going to do something for God. And I'm going to bear fruits. That's why, you know, most of my pastors, when they always want to show me their members. When I go somewhere, they want to come. So, oh, I'll, I'll tell the sheep, out. they want to, they are, uh, some of our members from, you see, it is, it is, it is a person bring, trying to show his fruits. You see, yeah, so these are my, these are my fruits. That's, they don't say it in that spiritual way. But that's actually what it, everywhere I go. This, oh, these are some of my members. Like, like the sister who came from Hungary with the, uh, the members. She's showing me her fruit. And the fruit are also explained that this is also, I came from this place. This is a tree. Yeah. That's what, so these are all our, our members from uh, whatever. They want to say hello. And I just wave. How are you all? We are blessed. When I was in Guinea-Bissau, the pastor brought all the members from the Bissau church. So they are all, they're all standing over there. So, oh, how are you all? I said, what a shock. They all, what a shock. Hey, they're happy. Bye-bye. And then I was going. Finish. So, they want to show the fruits. I've got some fruits to show. 
I've got some fruits. I've got some fruits. I've got some fruits. I've got some real fruits. Yeah. Is it amazing? Is it fantastic? Yeah. Thank you for your drums. Thanks for your thanks for your thanks for your music. But you see why I moved from drums. Yeah. You see, I don't know if you can play this song, Sweet Communion, on the drum, but most drummers don't know how to play. But I can play. Wow. Yeah, most drummers can't play. If I, if I say play sweet communion, you don't know how to play. I know how to play sweet communion. I play sweet communion. You know how to sing that song, sweet communion. Yes. Yeah. Most drum they don't know how to play. When you play, they will spoil the song. Yeah. Piano playing. I did APRS M as as up to grade seven. Yeah. Yeah. The highest is grade eight. You don't even know. You, you can't even know what it is. You don't know NATO? You don't know NATO? You are God's garden. Wow. You are God's tree. You are God's branch. And you are God's fruits. It's getting, it's getting wilder. I'm giving you seven reasons why atmosphere is vital for you. Number, number what? Number five. Are you still turning leaves? Are you still turning this? Number five, atmosphere is important because you are called a harvest. God calls you a harvest. John chapter four, Jesus calls you harvest. Ten, 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 ten. I should have been telling you tap. Tap. Or scroll. Tap. Scroll. See, I'm tapping. I'm tapping. Tap your Bible and say, I'm tapping too. I'm tapping too. John chapter 4 verse 34. Jesus saith unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Verse 35. Say not ye, there are yet four months and then cometh harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes, look on the fields, they are white already to harvest. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 37. Hearing is that saying true. One soweth, another reaps. I sent you to reap, whereon you bestowed no labor. Other men labored, and ye are entered into their labors. Amen. Amen. Jesus says, look at the harvest. Oh, is it a, was it a, was it a, 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 what do you call it? Corn harvest. Was it maize or wheat or wheat or any of those things? Now, he was talking about the people, the souls. So souls are called harvest. And that harvest is available for just a short period, a short window. And if there's, there's no a certain environment, it doesn't come forth. Now, when you talk about early rain and the latter rain, in the Bible... The early rain cause is comes to water the ground so that you can plant the seed. Then there is a long period, then the latter rain comes. And the latter rain comes to bring the thing to maturity. So the, the, after the latter rain, then the harvest comes. So there is a long period between the first and the latter rain. Now God is telling us that there is just this window where harvest time has come. If you don't get a harvest, there's hunger. It's just a short period. And you need the weather to change, the whole season to change, the rain to come, everything. The right at, otherwise, the, it's, called, it's called a failed harvest. It's very delicate. So, ladies and gentlemen, you and I are harvest 
for somebody and somebody i'm somebody's harvest i'm somebody's harvest and you are somebody's harvest as well is it amazing it's It's getting wilder the next one you are called grass psalm 103 atmosphere is important because your life is like grass psalm 103 verse 50 as for man his days are as grass Isaiah 40 verse 6, the voice said, cry, and he said, what shall I cry? Cry that all flesh is grass. All flesh is grass. And all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. So you are just like grass. Grass. Isaiah 40 verse 6. 10. 10 to Isaiah 40. And the last point is number 7. You are called a flower. You are called a flower. Flower. So you can only flourish at a certain time. You can only prosper at a certain time. In it. In it. it. Yeah. Everything that is you're gonna to have to do, you have to do it in a particular season. Otherwise, it's not gonna be. So you are grass. Isaiah 40, verse 6 tells us. What does it say? Read it. Do you have it? A voice said, Come, Rosina, read it for me. A voice said. The voice said, Cry, and he said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the goodly goodliness thereof is as of the flower of the field. Goodliness. Oh. Oh, goodliness. Niceness. I told you your mother was nice. Your mama. Mama. Send your girl child to school. Mama, send her to school. Your mama was nice, oh. Your mama was sweet. Your mama champ. Before your mother's stomach grew as big that she now has no waist. And has become like a can cook now. Before, she was nicer than you. Take it from me. She was charming. She was enchanting. I'm telling you, she was goodly, goodly, goodly. She was nice. People liked her. She used to hug your father. And now she has stopped hugging. And she says, in jail, Evening, evening. Morning, morning. Your goodliness. Hey. And the flower, it comes in a particular moment. When the environment changes, that's it. Look at the grass. It's because it's been raining. If you come here in the Hamatan, Aharabatan, you will see brown. Everything is brown. The best place to see this is uh, the golf course, Achimota Golf Course, because it is it is it is not being managed by intelligence. It's being managed by the by nature. Nature manages the course it's natural management so as the season changes it changes it becomes totally brown there's no grass at all it's red when i first started playing golf it was red places were just totally red red just red sand yeah even now it's 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 a little better but you see then and as soon as the atmosphere changes and the rain comes. It's, if, if you go to Kumasi Golf Course, you always see green, thick. The grass is thick. Thick, green grass. You see beautiful, nice, thick. It's nice to walk there, even in the Hamatan. It's green, green, green. This Kumasi is green. And the environment changes you so much. So those of you who joke with environment, <laughs> you are joking with your life. 
Yeah, you are done for. Those who are, who are working with crooks. You are done for. Those of you whose friends are thieves and liars. You are done for. Those of you who have surrounded yourself and put yourself in an environment and an atmosphere of certain things. If you, you are done for. Yeah. It's true. If, if your environment is ministry type of people, people who listen to messages, people who read the Bible, people who are a certain way, and you also pick a, a wife or a husband from that environment, you are better off. But if not, if not, do you know what is going to happen? You are going to pick a mystery. Yes. A mystery. Uh... And you are going to marry a mystery. And you, you, you will never know what you are dealing with. The mystery will be turning this way and that way. That way. You will always not know what you are dealing with. You like this. You will be sitting there in those. Hey, hey, hey. I pray for you that you will be a green grass in the presence of the Lord. Wow. Yeah. One day, I planted grass in my house. Yeah. And the grass will not grow. I did everything. And the whole house was brown. And one day, the weather changed. You see, I think I planted at the wrong time. So it was struggling. When the weather changed, I remember one day I looked out of my window and as I looked at the grass in the house, the change was so dramatic. And I realized how much Change comes. When the Bible says, and the Lord will give you rain in the time of the latter, and green grass in your fields. You change so much by the environment. Some of you have been changed by coming to first laughter. Your parents will not even recognize your, 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 who you are. Because they say, that, wow, what a change. And it's that by being in a certain environment. Yeah. Singing for the Lord. Dancing for the Lord. Becoming a shepherd. I mean, when you become a responsible shepherd. Look, when the angels were appearing by night, they appeared to shepherds. While shepherds walked their flock by night, they didn't appear to singers. They didn't appear to dancers. They didn't appear to worship leaders. They appeared to shepherds. While shepherds walked their flock by night. By night. Shepherds were watching. The greatest thing to be is to be a shepherd. Shepherd of my soul. Amen. A shepherd. 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 Leader. A shepherd is a leader. A shepherd is a leader. A shepherd has read the Bible for himself. A shepherd can share the word of God. A shepherd can give a perspective on what is going on. A shepherd can say something. A shepherd is not a blank tape. A shepherd is not a blank CD. A shepherd has something to say, something to share. A shepherd is spiritual. Yeah. And a certain atmosphere makes you into a shepherd. Yeah. Take it from me. If I can become a shepherd, you can become a shepherd.
Because I'm yeah. Captain Zero. I was zero. No one ever chose me. No one ever chose me for anything. It's true. For anything. Up to today, they just still don't choose me. <laughs> so if I can be a shepherd, that's why all my teachings are how to, how to, because I'm sharing with somebody how you can also, when even nobody is choosing, when you don't look spectacular or dramatic, or you don't even look great, you can be, you can be, you can actually become something for God. Yeah. And I know you are going to be. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You are grass. And you need a say, ish, grass. You are just grass. Oh. You need some environment, I tell you. Otherwise, you are going to change. So I'm going to now share with you the different types of atmospheres that have different effects as you go along on your Christian walk. And keys to changing these atmospheres so that certain things can flourish. The eggs can come. And the gas can end and the eggs can come. Wow. Do you want these different types of atmospheres that are necessary for Christian performance? Christian fruitfulness. For the grass to be green. Yeah. Do you know that when I see you, I can see even when you are not doing well. Yeah. There are many things that I see. Sometimes I didn't know what I was seeing, but I was seeing it. When I look at somebody, sometimes I can see the person has withered in the spirit. He's withered in the spirit. Sometimes I can see the person sick in the spirit. It's true. And sometimes I can see when darkness has fallen on someone. It's true. Sometimes the darkness falls on somebody in the spirit. Darkness and blackness falls on the person. And the person disappears under a dark cloud. Unable to rise and unable to shine. The person is around but he's in, 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 in envelope in darkness. They are all spiritual witherings. Spiritual disappearances. The Bermuda trial of the triangle of the spirit where people vanish and disappear into. You can see it. And you can see that there is no more vitality and the strength is finished. Sometimes people sin. And you can just see. You can shake hands and you can see. This, you, are, you are walking in sin. You are walking in darkness. You are falling. You are falling, sister. You are falling, brother. I can see many times. Yeah. It's a spiritual thing. So you are spiritual. You, you think you are physical grass. You are spiritual grass. Spiritually, you are just like Elisha. You see, all the things that are physical are spiritual. Elisha was taken to heaven with chariots and horses. These were not physical horses. They were spiritual horses which eat spiritual grass. The horses eat grass. They eat spiritual grass. So all the things we have, grass, they are all spiritual also. And just as this one withers under the hamatan, you also wither under a spiritual hamatan when you live under a spiritual hamatan. And spiritual hamatans and spiritual dry seasons. And you can see when somebody flourishes under spiritual rain. The Bible says that your doctrine shall fall like rain. There is, there is preaching that is, the preaching of the Bible, the doctrine is called rain. Some prophets, when they see rain, it speaks of teachings falling. Because the Bible says your doctrine shall fall like rain. It's like doctrines and teachings fall on a person. You see, the person changes under teaching. That's why you see somebody listen to a macane, listen to this, listen to this. See, the person is changing. It's changing. You can actually see that the person is changing. Literally. Yeah. You are spiritual. You are a spiritual flower. <laughs> Sometimes I look at myself in the mirror to see whether I can see some of those changes that I can see in people, in myself. <laughs> like if I see a change in so I can see things and it makes me worried when I see 
Then I, I look at myself, see whether I can see in myself what I see that makes me worry. Because as soon as I see, I can see it. <laughs> Even sometimes when somebody is above you spiritually, you can, you can see the person in, in a certain environment. One day when Benihin was sharing some things with me, I said, oh, all these things, I knew them. But I didn't know that I knew them. Oh, yeah, because I knew I could see. So I look at him and tell him, the man is in a certain atmosphere, too hot. But when he, when he spoke and he said, I said, no, I know. I, it's, it's fantastic. The atmosphere can bring you out, can quench you, can try to make you with that. But God will give you the anointing of a penguin, a polar bear anointing to stay in the, wind, in the withering environment to survive. If it is the case that it is his will that you should be in that environment. Yeah. That is why you are also prophesied to be like a coconut tree. A coconut tree which will grow in the salty water. Even buildings cannot be built in the salt. When there is too much salt, you cannot build. And trees cannot grow. But coconut tree, palm trees, they will grow. They will grow. They will grow in that withering environment. Salty environment. Yeah. And so when God has called you and God has determined that you are supposed to be in certain place, you see that you can stay there and you can do well. One day I sent a brother to the mission field. After some time, I saw, I said he was withering. His wife was withering. He was, they were being destroyed. I could see that even chunks of the tree were almost off. Hey! I had to evacuate him fast before it all was over. So environment, it will change you so much. Environment, it will change you. Look under every big tree, you see often the grass doesn't grow there. You see? <laughs> you see that? The, 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 the sun is, cannot come there. The sun cannot be there. Are you with me? Yeah. So, atmosphere is very, very important for you to do well in the ministry. So, the atmosphere, the different, different types of atmospheres are what you now need to know what are they so that you can pick the atmosphere. I know for myself for sure. That atmosphere affects me very, very much. Very much. Even physical atmosphere affects the spiritual. Yeah. Even the physical environment affects the atmosphere and affects what you say. If you are tired, that's why I don't like people sleeping in front of me. If you are tired, it affects even my ability to bear fruit. Because, I mean, I, the, the, my atmosphere changes. To the presence of tired, either they are not called or they are not spiritual. Because unspiritual people sleep at the height of spirituality. When the height of the anointing or the height of the presence of God, then they fall asleep then. Unspiritual people. <laughs> and people who are not called. It's true. Then at the height of something, you see that they are... Now the ones that are sleeping. When people's eyes are wide open. Like this. And then that, that, that one is now off. Yeah. I've seen it over and over and over and over. Even just now it's happening. It's true. It's not everything that I say. So you must be careful. And also people who eat a lot. And uh, their flesh is not controlled. You see, uh, their flesh is not controlled. It's, re it's revealed in eating. It's revealed in sleeping. It's revealed in the ability to wake up early. Early in the morning to, to get to work. You see, the flesh is not controlled. And to rise when you must rise. The flesh is not under control. It's, it's uncontrolled. It's also seen in overweight. 
The flesh is not controlled because it takes a huge effort to control the flesh to go overweight at a certain point. It's natural to be overweight. It's not unnatural. It's rather natural. But most of you are slim because of the age. Your age and also the lack of food. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. All right. Stand up. Lift your hands. And just thank God for his guidance, for your ministry, and for your life. 